What is up, everyone? So I have this, this problem where I always film some random video and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna start editing videos and making them into like little vlogs or vlogs as somebody has recently made fun of me for saying vlogs. And then I don't edit them because I'm just like, oh, <laughs> I really look ugly on camera. See, I, I then watch all these other YouTubers and whatnot and I, and I look at my life and I'm like, I do a lot of crazy stuff and I'm always out doing something, whether I'm working a crazy amount of hours, I still get off and go drive to like three in the morning. So I made like a little challenge for myself to actually see if I can get one video up, which is gonna be this video, hopefully, that the one you're watching. I just enjoy my life that I already do and I'm always around. Like, you guys wanna see something really cool real quick? I love this little, this little places um, app, well, folder, right? Yeah, that's really blurry. We'll get into that later. Well, this is what I like. I try to travel as much as I possibly can to add to my photos. As you can see, I need a lot more photos. So maybe here on out, when I'm taking all these photos, you guys can go with me at it. Go with me to the places, go with me at it. Let's do this. I apologize for when it gets really dark in here. This is when we're in my Ram. This is a 2002 Dodge Ram 5.9 liter Magnum with a 360 cubic inch, I believe. I only know that because all the stuff I Google. It's tinted all around us. So we got tint on the sides, tint on the back, and don't tell nobody, but I got tint on the windshield too. It is what it is. So you're not gonna see me really well, like you can't see me now, except for in the little shadow area over there, and sorry I'm cheating and looking at the uh, screen. Also, in case you're wondering why there's a big ass speaker behind me, that's because I'm too poor to buy the one that goes underneath the seat, because it's very custom on a Dodge Ram, and you can't just shove it in there. It just has to cost $150 for a single and $350 for a double. So if anybody has one of those and wants to give it to me, send it my way. It'd be really, really cool. Um, I'll explain a little bit about what I like to do. I love cars and trucks and, you know, it doesn't have to just be like fast cars or, you know, or cool cars or cool trucks, you know, etc. Because I kind of like to just get a Oh, that doesn't look safe. I'm on my... 25th car now. Um, I also have an FRS as many of you that are watching this will probably know and if you don't because you're just watching this now Stay tuned. We'll have videos of that as well. It's it's Tastefully modded to a certain degree. I just like to drive different things and see how it is and I, I get bored a lot That person's waiting for me to go. Yay Okay, I get a whopping 9.8 miles per gallon in this beast. Oh, you almost ran the red light. Oh, man People these days. Wow. I'm thinking about taking you guys for a little ride in my car when I get home. I do work in the morning, but it's only 9.56. What are we? Adults? <laughs> Let me get over. Gotta step on the gas a little bit in this puppy today. I think I'll just be kind of talking to you guys about stupid stuff and hanging out with the small group of friends of one or two that I have. Bringing you guys around of all the crazy stuff I do with uh, exploring different places, doing car mods, and working my ass off, because that's that's life. You can't see me at all anymore. <laughs> oh man, that was just a damn SoundCloud podcast. <laughs> Might as well just put some earphones in, turn your screen off if you have YouTube Red, and uh, just listen to what I'm saying. Cool, guys, it's all blurry. You guys want to see something funny? Watch my uh, RPM needle. Oh yeah. Oh, so, so great. Just give it a little tap. If you have a Dodge Ram, just know you might be buying a speed on at some point. I don't think I could ever live in a place like LA. I enjoy having free space to just drive around. Like nobody wants to just sit in traffic all day or wait till 11 p.m. when everybody's supposed to be sleeping, supposed to be, then be able to go out and drive. I like to drive whenever I want to just go out on these back roads, and I can do that, you know? You, I, I don't, I'm not a much for speed. You know, occasionally you can have speed, but, you know, speeding gets you in tickets and nobody wants tickets, because when you have tickets, well, you know. Also, peep the HIDs down there. Oh, such great light. Oh, look, is that an SRT8? I wonder, because they have a pretty good stance on that thing. All right, well, I, we will continue. Oh, oh, God. I don't think they know where they're going. Oh, man. That, they're going over there. All right, guys. Well, we will check in with you in a little. Oh, oh, the.
the joy, the joy. I've been driving a straight line. I don't even know what I just did right now, actually. I hit the wrong button. I'm so dumb. And the lighting is not so great in here as well, so I'm sorry about that. I'm in my FRS. Good news, though, is I found the GoPro. A bag with all the stuff and the hardware and everything to make that work. I found the charger cable and I went and stole the GoPro 4 off of the drone, which I don't think it's too happy about, but we need to use it. I also had a little too much fun in this car earlier today. I tried to uh, drift a corner that I've never tried before and it's a pretty tight corner and it did great going in. When I went to go back the other way, caught the dirt and I slid out. So my tire is brown at the moment on this side over here. But it was a fun day. I actually chewed a bunch of chunks of rubber over there. I do have headers on this car, so don't mind our friendly little header reminder. <laughs> Gotta always remember that. I still have to set up this GoPro real quick. And I guess we'll start doing some filming from there. I'm really getting excited about this video because I feel like the other videos I've made don't have so much action all at one time. We were already in the RAM, I give you like this whole life story, and now we're in the FRS. But hey, it's the first video of a launch. That I hope is gonna survive. Let's see how that all plays out. I have been sitting here for about 25 minutes now trying to connect my GoPro again to my phone. It's giving me issues. Bear with me. Thank God for video editing so that you didn't have to see 25 minutes worth of me sitting here frustrated trying to get the app to work. I hope this doesn't look extremely horrible. I have uh, spent the last 40 minutes basically trying to get trying to get Wi-Fi to connect to the GoPro. It epically failed. I am beyond frustrated, but that's okay because GoPro still film without Wi-Fi. We're gonna spend our time driving around and hope the video comes out okay. Oh god. I'm gonna turn this off for now. You won't be able to see me as much because I again have massive amounts of tint in this car. I was able to connect the camera to the Wi-Fi. That sounds good. Sometimes all you need to do is just go and drive a little bit. It's really freaking loud though. Like really loud from outside. It's pretty loud from inside too. And nothing wants to work right with Wi-Fi. I even lost my cap to my Canon. I have also just come to realize that this whole video is now becoming a car review or like an explanation of my car. I promise you that's not going to have be all the time because for one, there's only so much I can tell you about the same car. And for two, I do so much more than that. I, I love to... I'm gonna swap that around, I'm gonna get gas, I'm gonna go get a drink. So for you guys, it's gonna happen like right now. You guys, the day's... Well, not right now. But for me, I gotta do all that. It's gonna take me like 20 minutes. So, lucky you. You guys, the day's becoming better. I found my lens cap. It was actually inside my cup holder. So that is pretty awesome. We will see if this angle works out really well. And uh, let's go for a little ride. And see how she ends up. I bet it sounds better back there.
Uh, I'm going to try to get this edited kind of quickly because it's already 12.38 in the morning and I have to work in the morning. So I'm going to go through some of this, go through what I have on here. I already can see I'm going to be cutting out tens of minutes and then uh, that should complete video log one. The start, the epically horrible start of video two is going to be even better. I promise you that. But I can tell you one thing. If you go click that button over there, the little red one, it's gonna suck if it was over there. Whatever side it's on, if you click it, it'll be pretty cool. Sometimes. And you'll see some cool stuff, some cool car reviews, some cool driving around, and you never know what might happen. Later, guys.